Hi everybody, this is a year one big right and this big right is the moving house and the picture that you're looking for if you're looking on the home learning page is this one here. So let's have a look at the story starter together. Harry Shepherd opened his eyes and gazed up at his bedroom ceiling. He crinkled his eyes up and yawned, then rubbed the sleep from them and sat on the edge of his bed. The previous evening, his mum had opened the window slightly, letting a gentle breeze through. Mrs Shepherd knew that her son preferred it when the house was cool at night. However, when Harry sat on the edge of his bed, his room was not cool. It was freezing. Harry shivered, pulling his Spider-Man duvet over his bare legs. What on earth? he muttered to himself. There was a gale blowing through his bedroom window. Thinking that it must be an extremely windy day, Harry walked over to his wardrobe and pulled out a jumper. Pulling the jumper down over his head, Harry strolled over to the open window. He drew back the red curtains, expecting to see the leaves blowing all over their garden. Maybe even the garden furniture had blown over, like it had the last time the weather was bad. The sight that met Harry as he gazed out of the window was certainly not what he expected. Now's the time to have a really close look at the picture in this big right. You might notice that the house is in the air. My goodness me, how exciting and how scary at the same time. I wonder if you can finish the story. Talk to your grown-up about any words that you're not sure of. Then put some music on so you have something to listen to to help you with thinking time. And then get writing. Remember, you need a beginning, a middle and an end. We've already got the beginning, so you focus on the middle of the story and the end of the story. Make sure you use capital letters at the start of your sentences. Finger spaces between each word so that your reader can read it easily. Don't forget as well, you need punctuation on the end. I noticed in the story starter that there were several question marks and exclamation marks. So I wonder if you can think of some sentences where you could use one of those types of punctuation. Remember to form your letters correctly and make sure they're not too big and that they sit on the line. Try to join some of your sentences using the word and. Maybe you could think of some other ways of joining two sentences together as well. Have a great time and we look forward to reading all of your amazing stories. Speak to you again soon. Bye for now.